Hey, hello, you're stuck in traffic with Wolf Gorlick, couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at Yara rules. So, the pirates have stormed the ship, right? The bad guys are in the building. We may have a breach, we may have something going on. What the hell do we do? Where is it? What's going on? How do we get visibility? Uh, specifically, when we're looking for either fast or slow spreading malware. We talked about MD5 um, hashing the other day, right? And the limitations therein. We can't just run MD5 hashes on everything. That, that's really, really broad stroke. But we can look for maybe specific strings or specific jump addresses or any number of things. You're like, but how do I do that? What do I run? So tip for you, if you haven't seen it, check out Yara. Y-A-R-A. -A. Yara is a rules language. Yara stands for uh, Yara, another recursive acronym. <laughs> I really love this industry. Uh, that's what Yara stands for. And what it is, is it's a very simple rule language where top one is the, the uh, things you're looking for, right? Strings, jump addresses, hashes, uh, certain parameters, those types of things. Things that we can say, okay, this is what the malware that I've got a sample of looks like. And the bottom portion of a Yara script is the condition. Okay, how many times do I see this? Where do I see it? Uh, what's it doing? Those types of things. You can also unify Yara if you're in the Windows world with WMI, if you're familiar with Windows Management Instrumentation, to get things like process ID and process name and that sort of information. So, now that you got this, now that you got this, and you wanna run this, right? You got this rule, what do you do? How do you run it? Where does it go? Many AV packages will allow you to run Yara on all your endpoints. Um, the two I know for sure are CLAM and uh, Semantic Endpoint Protection. Your mileage may vary. Check with your AV provider and let me know. Um, but if you've got AV everywhere and you've got Yara rules, uh, and you've got the ability to write them, read them, and know what you're doing, you can go ahead and say, okay, here's what the malware looks like. Check all my endpoints, check all my environment, and tell me where it is. And then alert me to those environments so I can go check it out. That's what it is, simple as that. It's never simple as that. <laughs> but there's a quick introduction um, on Yara, and you can go ahead and look for more information on your own. Have you used Yara? Does it work? Does it not? What's the benefits, the disadvantages? Send me up in the comments, social media. It is Monday. Have yourself a really good day.